On 14 December 1971, the first missile launch with a direct hit from a remotely piloted vehicle was successfully accomplished. The launch platform was the BGM-34A U.S. Air Force Teledyne Ryan Aeronautical Remotely Piloted Vehicle, designated as Model 234. The development of the Model 234 was in direct response to a United States Air Force Systems Command contract awarded on 4 March 1971. Twenty-seven weeks after contract go-ahead, the factory build-up of the RPVs was completed. This effort included modifications to a standard BQM-34A airframe and subsystems. Design and installation of special equipment required to interface the missiles was completed. A new flight control box, RALAX, pitch dive control, and other units were easily adaptable to the BQM-34A airframe including a commercially produced nose-mounted TV targeting camera. On the 2nd of September, 1971, the functional checkout was completed, which simulated the remote operation of the RPV. Remote firing of a Maverick and the remote launching of a Hobo were simulated. Mounted under the wing of an Air Force DC-130, the RPV was delivered to the flight test site four weeks ahead of schedule. The control van for the tests was located at the approximate center of the range. An existing control van was specially modified to handle additional command. In the afternoon of 14 December 1971, nine months and ten days after go-ahead, aviation history was made. The target for this test was a surveyed radar control van. The RPV remained stable following missile separation and simultaneous drop of a counterbalancing inert bomb. the Maverick missile fired did not contain a warhead, only a spotting charge and telemetry equipment. The standard mid-air recovery system was used to return the RPV for future missions. The effectiveness of a Maverick live missile was adequately demonstrated during Maverick testing at Holloman Air Force Base. During the next flight, one week later, a second successful firing was accomplished with another direct hit on the target. Another weapon launched from the RPV was the stubby Hobo, developed by the Armament Development Test Center, Eglin Air Force Base. An existing Mark 84 Hobo electro-optical system was mated with a newly developed warhead. The resulting glide bomb was successfully launched on 10 February 1972 at Edwards Air Force Base.
this weapon did not contain a warhead, only a spotting charge. The effectiveness of the stubby warhead was adequately demonstrated during the development test. Impressive results of these tests prove that an extremely accurate and reliable remotely piloted weapons delivery system is feasible.